Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars on this beautiful sunlit day. Here's another philosophical question for you. If, if a person rises in awareness to the state of being beyond right and wrong, above right and wrong, does that then in make it all right for the person to slip up from time to time, say to murder, or to perform cannibalistic acts, or to rape? If that person is in a state, most of the time, of neutral mind, beyond right and wrong, how does that um, connect to the person's uh, actions in the world. And uh, here's another way of looking at it. If we're in the eternal flow of the now, and we commit a heinous crime, an atrocity in the eyes of the world, then we find ourselves in the next moment of the flow of the eternal now, right? Does that mean that the atrocity that we committed doesn't count or that it never happened? Does it mean, for instance, that we can absolve ourselves of that and start fresh in, uh, in a new moment? This is a philosophical question that's well worth pondering. Here's another question. Does it make a difference if we find ourselves in this situation of being far above um, notions of right and wrong, and we find that we have committed a terrible atrocity, and that we continue to commit these atrocities habitually? Does it make a difference if it's habitual or if it only happened once? What kind of a difference does it make? What, for instance, how does it influence the evolution or devolution of our soul?